Disney's Wilderness Lodge was created to be explored. Featuring Disney Vacation Club accommodations at both Boulder Ridge Villas and Copper Creek Villas and Cabins, this rustically elegant retreat celebrates America's westward expansion and the founding of our national parks. Its Pacific Northwest feel was particularly strong on a misty December morning when the Disney Files magazine staff captured five of its favorite details, legends, and backstories of Disney's Wilderness Lodge for this edition of Disney Vacation Club, Details We Dig. Number five, let's start with some backstory. While most fans know that the main lodge opened to Walt Disney World guests before adding villas and cabins, the resort's imagined backstory has its accommodations opening in reverse order. According to legend, executives looking to develop grand resorts along the newly expanded Transcontinental Railroad agreed on a picturesque hotel site near a great geyser and Copper Creek. The first structures built were a string of lakeside cabins to house the project's managers and investors. After completing their bosses' cabins, railroad crews began work on their first hotel, blasting boulders from a nearby quarry and hauling them to the site on rail cars before building the Modest Inn, which opened, again according to legend, in 1886. Visitation to Boulder Ridge Villas soon exceeded capacity, prompting construction of the Grand Lodge. And about 50 years after those first cabins were completed, the Lodge expanded its amenities by turning them into more luxurious accommodations for modern travelers. Number four, while transforming those cabins, crews also turned the old railroad station into the poolside restaurant, known today as Geyser Point Bar and Grill. And they filled the excavated quarry with refreshing waters, inviting explorers to bask in the laid back charm of Boulder Ridge Cove. The rusty relics left behind in these picturesque places, including the authentic mining equipment here at Boulder Ridge Cove, are quite literally details to dig. Number three. As long as we're digging rocks, let's talk about the fireplace in the lodge's main lobby. Soaring nearly 90 feet above the lobby floor, this focal point of stacked stone represents the strata of the Grand Canyon. Resort designers even hired a paleontologist to meticulously document every detail of the canyon's layers, matching actual rock colors to standard color charts so artists could faithfully represent reality in the final fireplace. You may even spot a few fossils represented in the stonework. For an even closer look, check out the display cases near the fireplace's layered rocks on each floor of the lodge, each offering greater insight into the canyon's formations and the history of life on Earth. Number two. Speaking of life on Earth, let's talk about those 16 wooden animal sculptures that tower at staggered elevations atop bundles of pine throughout this lobby. More than just aesthetically pleasing, each elevation represents a different life zone of the Pacific Northwest. At the lowest level are animals native to valley fields and streams. Just a bit higher are animals of lower alpine forests. Next are animals of the upper alpine mountain regions. And of course, the highest elevation is for the birds. By the way, you'll find more animal sculptures over in the lobby at Boulder Ridge Villas. While we dig them all, we're a bit partial to the hidden mouse. And number one, as long as you're in the Boulder Ridge Villas lobby, be sure to visit what's long been one of the Disney File staff's favorite places anywhere at Walt Disney World Resort, the Carrollwood Pacific Room. A tribute to Walt Disney's love of trains the room is named with a nod to Walt's miniature Carrollwood Pacific Railroad, which famously traveled through the backyard of his home on Carrollwood Drive in Southern California's Holmby Hills. You'll even find actual cars from that miniature train on display here, as well as a framed 35 millimeter motion picture negative and print from film shot by Disney legend Roger Brogan, the original Disney Imagineer, of Walt running his backyard train from the artwork to the artifacts, every detail in this legendary living room connects this cozy space to our company's original conductor. There you have it, five of the Disney Files Magazine staff's favorite details at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Of course, there are plenty more details to discover. What are your favorites? Mm -hmm.